Mr. Speaker, this is a historic time for this Congress, this House, my committee. I can say without a moment's hesitation that this day represents a crucial turning point for our nation as this new Congress begins a path to fiscal sanity. With this resolution today, Congress will begin immediately to reduce spending, starting here and now, with our own office budgets and our committee budgets and the like. To demonstrate my strong commitment to slashing spending, reducing our national deficit, and getting our economy back on track, I've directed my own committee budget to be cut not by 5 percent, Mr. Speaker, but by 9 percent, nearly double the amount of reductions proposed for other House offices. What the Appropriations Committee is saying to all other committees, we see your five, we raise you four. And so we're, we're, we're cutting 9 percent. This year, the Appropriations Committee will be ground zero for a wide range of reductions across the federal government. And by cutting our own budget first, Mr. Speaker, we are showing we're willing to lead by example. This is a critical time for the Appropriations Committee, as we will carry out the most expansive reduction of discretionary spending in the history of this country. Under my watch, the Appropriations Committee will be an instrument of change to enforce the will of the American people. My Republican colleagues on the committee and I are ready to stand and fight for the American people and show that we're serious about our commitment to rein in government spending and control our exploding deficits. Yet it's important to remember that slashing spending to save taxpayer dollars and reducing the size of government is a means to an end. We must always keep our eyes on the ultimate goal, improving our economy, getting our people back to work, and safeguarding the nation's financial security for the future. The one and only mandate that we received from the American people in November, in my judgment, was to put our economy and jobs first. This is why people came to uh, the polls and voted for a change in this body. And this is the duty that we must fulfill. To this end, it's clear that this Congress cannot let favored yet troublesome programs slip by or allow turf battles to cloud our shared interest in protecting the taxpayer. Our budget acts will swing wide and true and no area of the federal government will be immune from our scrutiny and cuts. Sacred cows are, for all intents and purposes, extinct. Mr. Speaker, we have a big job ahead of us. While this resolution is a small step forward, it is a giant leap to show in a very personal and practical way the commitment we have to reducing spending and getting our economy back on track. The first blood drawn, the first drawn blood is ours. <laughs>